Hi class, this is Ms. Cook here. Let's work on solving an angle side angle triangle. So versus our previous example where we had a side angle angle in which we were given uh, two angles and the uh, side opposite one of those angles, now we have two angles and the side that is adjacent to both of them, not the opposite to either. So that makes it an ASA triangle. So the first step, just like last time, is to solve for that missing angle. And in this case, that's going to be imperative because we're going to need that missing angle to use for the law of sines. Okay, because see, we have side C, so I need angle C to complete the law of sines. But anytime you have two angles, you're in a pretty good place. We're going to work a little bit later here where we have to work a little bit harder to solve these triangles where we maybe have uh, only one angle and two sides. All right, so let's first start by finding angle C, which again, since this is not a right triangle, I still know that all of my sides should add, all of my angles rather, should add up to 180 degrees. So I just take 180 and subtract the other two angles I know. So that's A, angle A is 50 degrees, and then angle B is 33.5 degrees, okay? And I've already done this, and my answer is 96.5 degrees, okay? So now we can draw our picture. Now this is an obtuse triangle instead of an acute triangle like the last one because I have now this angle C is um, greater than 90 degrees. All right, so I'm going to try and roughly draw an obtuse triangle. My triangles won't always be the greatest. <laughs> so A, B, C. So we know angle A is 50 degrees. We know angle B is 33.5 and then side C is 76 and this is why it's called angle side angle so angle side angle okay and then we know now we have found angle C to be 96.5 okay so now it's business as usual like the previous video all I have to do is set this up to where side C and angle C are my ratio that I use to solve for um, side A, which I need, and side B, using the law of sines. So I have little a, or side A, over the sine of angle A, which is 50 degrees, equals the same ratio with side C, which is 76 inches, or centimeters, over the sine of angle C, which is 96.5 degrees. Okay, and then I multiply both sides by sine of 50 to solve for side A. Okay, so now we can use our calculators at this point. So side A equals 76 time, oh, divided by sine of 96.5 and then times sine of 50. All right, and I get 58.59. So I'm going to round that to 58.6 just because my one of my angles has one decimal place, so I'm going to take my clue from that. So 58.6 is side A, and that's in centimeters, All right? So now we can do the same situation to solve for side B. So side B over the sine of angle B, which is 33.5 equals the ratio of 76, which is side C, and the sine of angle C, which is a 96.5. All right, so now once again, I just multiply both sides, in this case by sine of 33.5, 
So in my calculator, I will get that side B equals, okay? So now I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the last video, which I am just gonna run up here, high, oh, highlight, I'm going to do the same thing that I did in my other video, which is I'm going to come up to my previous entry in my calculator, highlight it, hit enter, and then just change that 50 degrees to 33.5, since I already have the rest of that in there from the last problem. Okay, and then that cells tells me that side B is 42.22 centimeters. Okay. Now you know you are roughly in the right ballpark because since side angle C rather is my obtuse angle, it's the biggest angle, you would expect that that side opposite would be the longest side and that is what happens here in this situation. Okay. If you have any questions, just let me know. Feel free to leave a comment or send me an email. Have a great day, you guys.